stand up, sit down, sit. Those are sit. Ready? Sit. What's wrong, Tozer? Is your daddy putting booties on you because he's snowing? Stand up. He says, I don't know how. <laughs> What happened to the other front one? Come here, Dodger. Come here. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta see what he does in the snow. Dodger, come here. So let's see if he does the chicken scratch thing. Wow, we already got like a couple inches. Mm -hmm. Is he walking? I can't see him. <laughs> He's not doing too bad. Wow, we got a lot of snow already. Go poo. Dozer, what do you guys, your VZs? Go. really cold but I'm gonna play in it for a few minutes I got my car now I get to put it on my Jeff left it here he had to leave early for work oh this is nothing but a sheet of ice underneath ooh pretty pretty though It's pretty. 
My hands hurt. It's so cold. I just got back from my walk it is almost noon so I am ready to eat lunch um after being out in that freezing cold because <laughs> I'm it's cold excuse the way I look after I take off my hat my hair nuts but anyways I want something warm and creamy and yummy so one of my favorite things is low carb chicken alfredo <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is I have these steamable Brussels sprouts. I'm going to put them in the recommended time in my microwave to steam, and then we'll go from there. So while they're steaming, I have some leftover baked chicken from last night. I'm going to take one nice sized piece, and I have this little teeny tiny piece, so I'll take those. And I'm going to slice them up and get them in my pan. And it's nice to have leftovers. Makes life so much easier. And I baked these in the oven, so they're not fried or anything like that. And I'm going to get them in the pan so they can get warmed up because they're cold because they were in the fridge. And in my pan, I just have a little bit of non-stick spray and a little bit of butter. I mean, a little bit of butter. Okay. So I'm going to get this little bit of chicken in so it can start to warm up. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, my little bit of chicken, a little bit of butter, we're getting it warmed up. And then as soon as the cauliflower, the cauliflower, as soon as the Brussels sprouts come out, we're going to slice them in half and I'm using ragu. This is classic Alfredo sauce, and it has, there's seven servings in here, and it's 90 calories per serving, and that is for a half a cup, so for a full cup, it'll be 180. So we're going to measure out one cup of this ragu, but we have to take care of the Brussels sprouts first. Now that the Brussels sprouts have steamed, they're basically cooked, I'm just going to tip them out on my board and I'm gonna cut them in half because I want them to blacken in the pan with the chicken. So I'm just basically going to, whoo, they're hot. Let me get a fork. Stab them with a fork and we're going to cut them in half like that and then put them in the pan so that they can blacken. So I'm just gonna cut these guys up so they get a little color on them, basically. And I guess if you don't like Brussels sprouts, I happen to love Brussels sprouts, you could do this with broccoli or cauliflower. But we're using the Brussels sprouts instead of pasta. Now they're, see how they're getting color on them? 
they get like little brown. You want a little color on them. So they're not mushy. And I don't know about you, but blackened or however you want to call it, um, Brussels sprouts, they, they taste a little bit more mud, nutty instead of just like gassy greens, if that's a word. I don't know. I think when you put a little color on your Brussels sprouts, they just taste a hundred times better. They taste more nutty than anything. So I really like them. Like that's a great color. Let me show you. See that that's a great color. So we're just getting some color on them. Okay. Now we're going to measure out. I don't even know if I'm going to need a full cup. I think that'll be plenty. I think that's going to be plenty. Okay. So once you think you get enough color, on these guys, which I think we're almost there, and then we will add the Alfredo sauce. Now, of course, you can make your own Alfredo sauce with butter, um, heavy cream, Parmesan, garlic, whatever you like. This is just easy and quick. Okay, I want to just get a little bit more color and then we'll be good. Okay, they got a nice good color. Almost a cup. It's almost a cup of our Alfredo. We're gonna mix that all up. So everything's nice and coated. Sorry about the steam. Get the sauce all nice and warmed up. And that is your low carb chicken Alfredo. Okay, we'll get the sauce all warmed up. Look at that, almost a cup was perfect. Nice and creamy. I'm gonna get this plated and I'll be right back. Okay, there it is plated. We're gonna take some freshly shaved parm and sprinkle some of that on top. And I like a little bit of black pepper. And there you go. Low carb chicken Alfredo. This is delicious. Guys. If you like Alfredo and you like Brussels sprouts. Now, I'm sure this would be great too, like I said, with broccoli or cauliflower. Brussels sprouts are just more hearty. They take the sauce better, in my personal opinion. And when you blacken them, like I said, they get nutty. This. My dog's drinking. Is everything you would want out of chicken Alfredo. With no guilt because there's no hardly any carbs. It is so hot, creamy. You guys gotta try this, this is really good.